It is hard for me to believe, Amy, that Josh would be 16. I agree. I Time does fly so much. Um, it's, it's interesting as we get to these milestones of his birthday and September 22nd when he passed, like the emotions that brings. Um, I am thankful, though, for you to ask to talk to me about him because I love the opportunity to talk about him and to know that today someone's going to hear his name and remember him. It, it just, he was such a part of this community. I mean, you, you fighting for him was when I first was introduced to you mm -hmm. and, and, and the story. And although I never met him, I've seen the cutouts and the pictures and I wish I had because he just sounded like, I mean, he was really at such a young age was a character. Yes, he was hysterical. Gosh, he always made us laugh. I, we were just um, just reminiscing of stories about him and things that he would say. He loved little one-liners just to shock you and make you laugh. <laughs> but yeah, and the Fredericksburg community was beautiful to us when we were fighting to get medicine for him with the hashtag Save Josh um, movement, um, which was a huge gift because we got more time. We wouldn't have gotten that time if the community hadn't come yeah. together to help us. Um, but even with as we try to create a legacy of giving back, um, we want to thank the Fredericksburg community and just everybody on Facebook that helped us with our Fairy Godmother project, which is Fredericksburg, you know, charity, and then Ronald McDonald House, his Josh's Pantry, and then, you know, Todd and I always do the St. Jude Marathon to try to help keep going, giving back to those organizations that just really carried us through that cancer journey. It was, I mean, he, he was, it was just his whole story. It just, it, it just touched us in the... Mm -hmm. And, and, and the pictures, and even now, yeah. you just, you, you just, I, I, anytime I see Memphis Grizzlies games, <laughs> yeah. I think of him, I because know, I know you went to a lot of games. We did, I'm really excited, they're doing well yeah. now, <laughs> it makes me want to go to Memphis just to go to a basketball <laughs> game, but yeah, we've had, we had a great, um, I mean, it's weird to say, but I feel like our lives were enriched by all the struggles that we went through. I mean, he lived life to the fullest. He had the most fun everywhere he went and he always made new friends. And I think he just taught all of us and within our family and maybe even outside of our family, how to live better with the time you have. Cause you never know. You never know. But uh, 10 years definitely was too short. And to think that he'd be 16 now and driving, he'd be, Joe and him would be playing high school sports together. Who would be his girlfriend? Would he be thinking about going to college? You know, or yeah. of course, you know, yeah. um, you know, so it's, it's just those things, you, the what ifs, what would have been like, so it's. No, I, I, more, it's funny you say that, because I've been at um, JM football games, and your boys being on the team, and just think, wonder what his number would have been, yeah. and he would have been out there. Yeah, he would have been. He would have played. Yeah, he would have. He would have loved it. I mean, he loved sports, and he he had a natural, just talent, just the way he moved. Like even when he was infirmed, and he would throw a football or a baseball, and he just looked natural. And then his eye for it, like he would be the umpire while his brothers were playing wiffle ball, and he call a balk or you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, he was just so into it, and he loved it so much. So sports would have been a huge part of his life. And I, and I know, I mean, a day can't go by, and it was just like, you know, standing here at Fredericksburg Baptist, of mm -hmm. where you have memories mm -hmm. of things you did in, in both good times and bad yeah. times. Yeah, no, actually, Fredericksburg Baptist was um, where you went to preschool, and the way the, the school and the church rallied around us, as well as our own church, Fairview Baptist, it really, it was just a, it was a miracle of just beautiful human compassion. and. I do. I have great memories. I love to come back here um, yeah. and, you know, to see how the school's changed and, you know, and we just heard little voices. They just had um, a school end of the day and they were just so sweet because they do. They go so fast. I can't believe how quiet my house has gotten because everybody's so grown up. Yeah. Well, you do, you, and especially in Josh's case, and you know, it was, there's so many cases, you, you, you just... Someday you just want to ask why. Yeah, no. But like you talked about, you know, you, you can see things of, you know, you, you see, you, you do see things that, that Josh brought to your family. Absolutely. Just the, I think the men that my sons will become because of the experiences they had with Josh. I mean, I find them more patient, more compassionate. Mm -hmm. um, even, and, you know, I feel like we live life almost fearlessly because he was never afraid. He just made the most of every day. Didn't think about what was going to happen. It just, it, it was, it was a very interesting time. A very interesting thing we learned. 
and um, I do ask why, but at the same time, I lots of people that we've met that I would never have met, um, just beautiful souls that yeah. really enrich our lives. I mean, granted, I would love to have Josh here enriching our lives with his yeah. goofy little jokes, <laughs> but you know, you just you just take a time, a day at a time, and you know, my faith is so strong. I know that I will see him again. I have faith that I will walk through the gates of heaven, and he will be screaming, "Mom!" <laughs> yeah. No, and I look I look forward to the day when you say to me, "This is Josh." <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Because I have I've, I've 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 thought that in a number of times that 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 will happen someday. Yeah. And. I, I do, and just just the faith that your family has shown through all of this. It's been a real testimony to the community, I think. Yeah, and I, you know, you know, as Christians, we think about how could we witness, but Josh has brought the witness and ministry that God intended me to have. I just, just talking about Josh, you can just talk about God, too. I mean, he really just he carried us through this whole thing. I don't know what I would have done had I not had faith, because... Um, I would be very dark right now yeah. if I didn't have the belief that I'm going to see Josh again in heaven. You see, um, you've told some funny stories. What's, <laughs> what's one of the funnier stories <laughs> we of were, Josh? We were just talking about so it's baseball season, so we have baseball games to go to every night. And uh, Josh was, we were talking about what position Josh would play if Joe and him were on the James Monroe high school team together. He said, probably be a catcher and it reminded me of the time that Josh wore boxers when he was catching you know what gear you have to wear yeah and the cup kept sliding all the way down and he'd catch the ball and he'd stop pull oh no <laughs> it's not necessarily a pro view but it was just a story we told today yeah. it was just hysterical it's like don't wear boxers when you're catching that's, yes that's, there's, a, there's, a there's a message there is a message that's, all you yeah. baseball moms out there <laughs> but uh he just said the funniest things like one of my favorite ones i was just talking about with andy mcconnell the fairy godmother project um director um when he loved food, our neighbor used to grill these drumsticks just for Josh. And he would bite into them. He goes, oh, this is so good. I want to throw it up so I can eat it again. <laughs> like, Josh. Again. <laughs> that's disgusting. But it's just one of those things yeah. that it was just shock factor and funny. He just made you laugh. He was just. I remember one time, and I can't remember the, I'm hoping you can remember the punchline. Was, I remember telling it to people afterwards of where he was raising money uh, <laughs> going to teachers to yeah. raise money. Yeah, so it was, um, he was doing the mathathon at um, Hugh Mercer he, for St. Jude. And his brothers had raised a certain amount and he was trying to beat it. And he was lamenting to Mrs. Mann that he, um, he'd run out of people to ask. And she, you know, they're in the cafeteria. You know, here's a six-year-old talking yeah. to her. And um, she goes, well, Josh, you can ask me. And he's like, oh, can I, will you donate to my St. Jude Mathathon? And she's like, sure. And she said, I reached into my pocket and I handed him $20. And he looked at it and looked at me and said, well, Mrs. Mann, you can do better than that. <laughs> so she called me to tell me that story and to make sure I told him that she was putting more money <laughs> in his envelope tomorrow at school. <laughs> See, that's it. That's just, it's, it's, it's those kinds of things. Yeah. And. And um, no, I just I just hope people re remember Josh as on, on, on his birthday. And, and I guess the other thing, if, if, and if people want, because you, you've been so upfront about raising money for St. Jude, or raising money for Fairy Godmother, or raising money for the Ronald McDonald House, there are ways, there are always ways to remember Josh and any number of kids like this. Yes, definitely. When you support our um, efforts, I call it the Josh efforts, um, you're helping other families that were in the same situation that we were in. I mean, when you have to go through pediatric cancer treatment you have to just drop everything and go where you're going to be best treated and with pediatric cancer oddly enough being so rare there's definitely facilities all over the country that specialize and so um, St. Jude is one of the best facilities for research and for making advancements but yeah. with that they have the Ronald McDonald house and these families leave their hometowns and come and live there and Ronald McDonald, St. Jude, they provide all the food, the accommodations, transportation. I mean, it's a huge part of the survival. And it's bad enough that you have to endure cancer. It's even worse that you have to endure cancer with your child. But to just be financially, have your hands tied because you, you're not going to yeah. work. And so to be able to make sure these families have a comfortable, safe place to go and 
you know, good food and just a good environment. And that was a good thing about the Ronald McDonald House. That was one of the big ones we're doing right now. We um, dedicated a Josh's Pantry at the Ronald McDonald House in Memphis. And so we are currently trying to get to our cumulative goal of 100,000 before the end of 2020. So um, that's a big one right now that I would love for people, if you wanted to do something in honor of Josh's birthday, you could definitely check out that link. <laughs> well, you, you, like I said, I mean, your, your, your family has, has, has been an example. And I know on, for on, on his 16th birthday, it's, I just, I'm glad we could talk just yeah. because um, I'll be thinking of you tomorrow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you again for the opportunity to talk about Josh.